In a new interview with GQ, Winona Ryder says she's not all along that Mel Gibson was an anti-Semitic homophobe jerk. Thanks to an awkward run-in with him 15 years ago at a Hollywood party. She says this about Mel. Quote, he was really drunk. I was with my friend, who's gay. He made a really horrible gay joke, and somehow it came up that I was Jewish. He said something about oven dodgers, but I didn't even get it. I'd never heard that before. It was just this weird, weird moment. You know, Mel is like the Titanic. He couldn't sink any lower, in my opinion. And I, I have, oh, I have to introduce you guys. I forgot. With me now to talk about this and other stories in the news are comedian David Tell, comedian up? Kate Flannery, and Rob Shooter, AOL's prop eater columnist. You know, I've never heard this term, oven dodger. Where did he find this? In Mein Kampf? First of all, uh, uh, Joy, I can't say long. As you can tell, I have a deadliest catch episode to shoot. Um, okay. Finger fisherman, anti Semitism ain't ever running, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Where, what, oven dodger? Is oven that the. Oven dodger. It's the. I can't say. It's really the worst thing you can say to somebody. I mean, I mean bagel eater, that's kind of like a, you got to know the person a little bit, but oven dodger, that's the closer. Bagel you know eater saying. is not offensive as. The oven dodger is tra it's talking about a tragedy. Yeah, you're half upset. Yeah. I'm a full blown Jew, all right? You're like half Jewish, no, right? I'm no, I'm Italian. Oh, so I'm, what do you care? I do care. <laughs> I care. You know, oh, yeah? Yeah, you know that? You don't have to be Jewish to, to eat Levy's? Same thing. All right. I okay. mean, you all need a wax. That's all I'm going to okay. say. Okay, Winona said that Mel was drunk. Right. Aren't you sick of this in vino veritas, uh, you know, excuse? Uh, that's a fancy <laughs> word for saying yes. I, I am. I'm, I, you know what it is? Winona Ryder should not be bringing up any dirt on anybody. I mean, she was arrested for shoplifting. Yeah. And I'm telling you, when I was a waitress in Beverly Hills, she actually skipped on a check for it was just for a few sodas. But she's, I mean, and supposedly like she was. This was during her. She was like doing painkillers or something at the time. So that was her you, out. Are you saying? Oh, that was. I'm not suggesting that Mel. You saying Mel she's Gibson. a liar or no, a no, shoplifter? No, no, no. Which well, is it? Well, I just think why are you bring attention to someone else when you should be lucky that you're still working and back on the map. You know what I'm saying? I Kate hates Jews. <laughs> <laughs> You're defending him. I think this I'm is not. really... She's not defending I know. I the mean, girl. He's been great for the Catholics. Let's face she, it, right? She's not... De she, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's proud to be Catholic. And she's she's just know. saying that, you know, uh, people who live in glass houses should dress in the cellar. Uh, exactly. But I'm, I'm saying to you that you mean, shoplifting is not the equivalent of this type right. of slap. Right. I understand that. And that. she has been saying this before. No one's been listening. She's been saying this. She really has. She said stuff about Mel Gibson before to her friends and nobody's really paid that much attention now because of what happened this has become the headline of that GQ story mm -hmm. but this isn't really new news she's been saying for a long time that Mel is an anti-Semite but you're out of line Rob do you think what? it has something to do with the fact that Black Swan her movie is coming out and mm. she absolutely well, I think that's why anyway. it's coming out well, now. That's, no, but that's yeah. why she got the interview with GQ in, GQ wouldn't be sitting down with her if she wasn't promoting this movie so whenever they promote these movies they sit down with these girls for hours yeah. and I think she's probably did a four hour interview and they picked the most controversial stuff out of that interview and this certainly is that well, you know, the semen, oh, Simon, I guess. Wiesenthal Center? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. You really are Italian. The semen? Simon. Oh, Simon Wiesenthal Center. Oh, oh, oh. I used to date him, okay? So okay. shut up. Got it. Got it. Date, Look at me. Date. Look at all the hits. Look like at uh, uh, what's my call? It's a scapegoat? Maybe a Jewish person? Go ahead. <laughs> sort of like really Jew on this panel. He looks anyway, like the, 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 Weasel, today, right? the Weasel Ball mm -hmm. Center released its 2010 <laughs> top 10 anti Semitic slurs, and Mel did not make the cut. <laughs> Did Helen it? Thomas is on this list. Wow. Rick Sanchez and Oliver Stone are all on that list. Wow. Uh, wow. Uh, isn't that something? Is that Shouldn't he be on the work. list? He yes. should be the entire list. He should be the entire yes. list. Hey, can you get off his, his back, please, for all a right. second? First yeah. of all, he's a great actor. He's a star, and I give him five Zig Heils. All right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I had to make it. Oh, that's good.